Welcome back guys. Now in the first video, I showed you guys how to use the 570MS uh, calculator to find the mean, variance and also the standard deviation. Uh, now we have the 570ES+. Plus. Well, this calculator is a bit different. It's the uh, newer version compared to the 570MS. Now um, again, the table is the same. Uh, again, midpoint, you have to find the midpoint, all right? Uh, in case you guys missed this, the midpoint is basically 26 plus 30 divided by 2 to give us the, fit, the first midpoint and so on for the rest, okay? Now, uh, to get straight into finding the, uh, or rather, keying in the data into the calculator, so first of all, we are going to hit uh, mode. Uh, look for number 3, that's stat or short for statistics, okay? so tab number three and you see the screen is filled with all this um, well junk you don't need that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just type uh, AC to clear the screen all right now to key in the data all right uh, we need to get out the table we need to put the values into a table because the input method is a bit different from the older version of, the, of this calculator so press shift and one uh, look at number two that's data so tab number two, and we have a table or a column, but it's only for X. So it won't work because we need for X and also for the frequency. Now to uh, get or bring out the uh, frequency column, we press shift mode, okay? Uh, but we have to go down. So press the down arrow. And number four is stat or S uh, statistics. So number four, and it's ask us frequency. So yes, we want it to be turned on. So frequency on, that's number one. So now do you see I've got two columns, uh, one is for X and one is for frequency. Uh, X is for midpoint, frequency is the number of ribbons over here. Right, so now I'm going to go ahead and key in these values. Now the midpoint starting with 28, so 28 equal, it jumps down to the next row. Next one, 33 equal, next one, 38, 43, 48. Okay, so I've got five rows there. Can you see that? Okay, now for the frequency, so I just jump to the right side, go all the way back up to the first row. First frequency is 14, one, four, equal. Second one is 18. Next one, 26, equal. 30, equal. And finally, 12, equal. Okay, so once all the uh, data has been put into the uh, correct columns here, can you see that? All right. So now I can go ahead and press this orange button here, AC, to clear that. Now to uh, get the values as I've shown you before, we need to prepare the uh, working to find mean. So we're going to show you how to find these values from the calculator and these values from the calculator. Okay. So first, uh, let's start with the mean first. All right. So shift one. Okay, but this time we're looking at number three, which says here sum. So I key in number three, and do you see there's sigma x? Well, sigma x will give us this value. So I tap two equal, and there you have it, 3840, 3840. Okay, 3840. All right, so if I go back to shift one, okay, so now here, if I key in number three again, there is no uh, option here to obtain the uh, total frequency, which is 100, okay? There's no option here. But if you go to shift one, and if you go to number four, we have it right there. That's number one, N. So if I type one, I press equal to, I get 100. So that's 100, okay? Right, now for the min answer, so again, I press shift one, we look at number four, so number four, and you see the symbol for the min, that's number two, x bar. So I type two, I press equal, and I get 38.4, that's the min. Okay, now as for the variance and the standard deviation, of course the mean value has to go into that bracket, don't forget we have to square that. But again, we are using the calculator now to obtain these values here. So we already know this number is 100, same as before. Okay, so now to get this number here, 151240, so I go ahead and press shift 1, and we're looking for number 3. 3, 
So you see number one here, sigma x squared. So I key in one, press equal to, and I get one five one two four zero right there. Okay. Now, what about the uh, answers then for the variance and for the standard deviation? Well, shift one. We go to number four for number four. Okay. So we're looking at number three now. That's the symbol for the uh, standard deviation. So if I tap number three, equal to. I get 6.151. So that's the standard deviation. Just as the older calculator, it will not give us the variance. So to find the variance, which is 37.84, we go ahead and square that, press equal to, and there you have it, 37.84. Okay, so this is, is how we use the 570 ES plus calculator to find mean, variance, and even standard deviation. Now in the third video, I will be doing um, the video on how to use the latest calculator, which is the EX model. All right, guys, until next time, ta-ta, bye-bye.